so I never know how to start these stupid videos but I'm starting this one like this because I don't want to spend too much time just trying to figure out how to start the video so as the title says I'm finally after literally two years I believe back in the shooting medium format feeling baby so this is the uh, Rolleiflex 2.8 E or E2. I don't know. I, I, I should have looked it up uh, before recording this video, but I'm just too lazy to look it up. Um, this camera is not mine. This is my brother-in-law's. I'm borrowing it from him. Uh, he likes to flip these things on eBay and whatnot. And so I took this one uh, just to, you know, borrow it for a few days, weeks, and just get back into freaking medium format film. and. Just kind of wanted to give a first impressions on the camera in general. So yeah, like I was saying, it's been two years since I like last shot medium format. Um, I don't know why I kind of dropped out of it. I just enjoyed shooting 35 millimeter more and scanning in 35 millimeter more because I had a pack on scanner and I just pop it in there and just go through the thing and that's it. So I was just like, yo, that's what we're going with right now. And so I kind of just dropped medium format and gave up on it. And I really wish I didn't because man, these prices of just like some of these cameras have gone up or just been all over the place. And I really haven't, I don't think I've ever talked about a medium format camera on this channel, but the app, the process of shooting medium format film is so fun. It's actually funny when I first put a roll in here, I had to watch like a few videos on how to use this camera or just how to load 120 film because it's been so long i wasn't sure whether to put it on the bottom sprocket or the top sprocket and which way it goes or where to put the little arrow markers when you're shooting so i had to like give myself a quick refresher but once i did and once i started shooting it was super easy and i figured it out really quick and everything just clicks back with me um so again just quick first impressions of this camera absolutely freaking love it uh this isn't the 2.8 f like i said this is the e2 um i believe from what i know one of the main differences between the f and this e is that it's the lens i think that's the e the d and the f and i believe it might be something with the lens again i have to look deeper into it so don't take this as just the full you know on opinion of this camera's better than the other because i'm not saying that about any of them because medium format film in general just doesn't even matter what camera you're shooting, looks absolutely freaking beautiful. This isn't my first TLR camera. Um, and if you don't know what TLR means, that's twin lens reflex. So top lens here is your uh, focusing lens. And this bottom lens here is the one you use for shooting. And this camera has a leaf shutter. So it's super, super quiet. I don't even know if you heard that, but yeah, it's super quiet and it's a waist level finder. So, you know, you're looking down and exposing and whatnot for you know your shot and has a focus magnifier inside of there so you can get closer to the ground glass and see what you're focusing on um, and i find when i'm shooting outdoors if a good amount of light is really getting in there um i can see pretty well uh whatever i'm exposing for so i really like that about it it was really easy to shoot with this camera in particular needs a little bit of a cla because the shutter is a little sticky there i'm not sure it looks like it's working fine now but it's a little sticky it's not as you know just quick as i'd like it to be so other than that again just the feel of shooting medium format films feels so good like the actual winding of your film and whatnot looking through a ground glass and figuring out just the weirdness of the whole left and right when you're looking through a ground glass because you feel like your right is on your left and so you're like turning the wrong ways and whatnot um but yeah it's just such a joy literally like the smell of this camera as weird as that sounds smells like good old medium format vintage cameras and i absolutely freaking love that um and it's just cool walking around with this thing like anybody walking around with this camera you're just like bro we're, we're bros like we're just we're bros i know you you know me we love the same things we're, we're bffs right here you know put your digital camera away it's all about film bro <laughs> not to be elitist or nothing so i've put a few rolls through the camera a few rolls of portra 160 in there that i'm actually gonna review and talk about and a full review of just this camera 
and whatnot and what I think about it. And I've been shooting with it a lot actually with a shutter release cable. I don't know where or when I even got this. I probably just got it with the camera I found at a um, sell or whatever. I don't know what the things are called at the house, estate sales. Um, but I've been using that with this just because when I'm shooting at lower shutter speeds, I feel like I'm trying to control the camera because I'm shooting a six by six composition. And so I just wanna make sure I have control over my framing and steadiness. And, you know, I feel like I kind of throw it off with, you know, having to hit the shutter button unless I have like a really solid grasp on like my camera and whatnot. So I've been using this just to make sure I have like a nice good grasp and then I just shoot the photo. Another thing I've been using is my Sekonic light meter. This is the L47. 8DR, I've had this thing for years and I absolutely love it. So I use it in two different ways when I'm meeting black and white and color film. When I'm metering for black and white film, I usually just use a gray card and hold it in the lighting environment I'm shooting in, take a meter reading off of that, and then just set my camera to that and shoot that. If I'm shooting color, I kind of just meter within the environment or just kind of right under the subject's chin, a 45 degree angle, and just like take that reading. Or if I'm shooting like landscape photo or something, I'll just take an overall, you know, reading of the area and just use it that way. But I absolutely love it. I find it super reliable. I honestly think when you shoot on a gray card, it overexposes your images by default by like a stop or so. Um, yeah, I'd say like a stop, maybe a stop and a half. And, you know, sometimes I compensate for that by so I bring something down in the camera. Or sometimes I just leave it at that setting and shoot the, you know, photo and it comes out looking perfectly fine. I have a lot of latitude to work with when I'm looking at the photos once I scan them in. But again, I'm really, really enjoying this camera and can't wait to just shoot some more rolls with this, spend a little bit more time with it, get to know it in a little more detail, and then put out a full review of this camera. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching this video. Catch you next time.